very important. I've got on here tequila. Uh, I definitely will be taking a celebratory shot of tequila once I push this baby out. Um, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Harlow is past the F out. Yes. Why is my husband the way that he is? This is where he decided to put her our throw pillows. Apparently I need a chest to let him put the pillows in. I mean, points for creativity, I guess. I mean, I'm really glad that they added that little bow there because these would not be as cute without it. Here we are with a what's in my hospital bag round two. This one's a little different because I am not planning on giving birth at a birth center this time. Unfortunately, I was told at my last appointment that I had to have transferred my care by 34 weeks and I am currently 38 weeks. By the time you see this, I will be 39, I think, possibly 40 and possibly with a baby in my arms. <laughs> Ah, oh, the AC is also pumping right now. It's so hot outside. So if you hear that, sorry, but it is what it is. Um, so this like hospital bag looks a little different than my last one, not only because I've had a baby before, so it's my second time around, but also because I'm not planning on giving birth in a birth center. The first time I had, uh, uh, a baby I was planning on giving birth at a birth center in which case they send you home after four hours So your hospital bag looks completely different. So a lot of you that are moms um, Watching this maybe you you've had two kids or three kids. You're probably gonna think that a lot of this is extra but Having had my birth last time in a hospital where they wanted me to stay for three days and only having a bag that was prepared for me to stay somewhere for four hours, there was a lot of things that I did not have that I was like, fuck man, I wish I had this, I wish I had that, and I was just like so uncomfortable because of the things that I didn't have. So in my opinion, it's better to overpack than underpack and just not use it than not have like need it and not have it. So my bags might feel a little extra to some of you. However, I know what I wanted when I was in the hospital and there are some things that I had in my first bag that I was like, that was stupid and I won't have it in this bag. And some of the things I talk about, I'm not actually going to show you because it's kind of like a more of a last minute kind of a um, packing situation, which I will go over at the end. So what my bags look like is I have, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a medium sized suitcase right here that is all of my things. And then this will be possibly not going inside of it because it's rather big. This is something that I'd never thought about using for the hospital. And I'll show you what this is in a minute. I think it's like going to be a game changer, but um, let's just start going through everything. I've also taken the liberty of making you guys a little PDF of um, a checklist of everything that I have here. So don't worry about writing anything down. If you're like, oh, that's a really good idea. Like, don't worry about that. I will leave that so you guys can um, download it if you want. But I did want to share an app with you guys that I use not only for camping trips for packing, trips just vacation packing, grocery lists, etc. but it's called Any List and I'll pop it on the screen so you can see it. This is not sponsored, but I just absolutely love this app. Like if my husband is going to the grocery store, I can actively be adding things that are like updating on his list. Hello, Diana. Um, while he's driving there and as he checks things off and buys them or whatever puts them in the cart, like I can see that in real time too. So I just really love the app because it's just super useful if you have like an assistant or anybody that you like want to make a list of things for, um, it's great for it. We have a honeydew list on there. So anytime I add anything, it like pops up, um, on his phone while he's at work and he's like, oh fuck this again. So anyways, that app is awesome for, um, this but or you can just write it old school i did take a sheet of paper in this and start writing out what i wanted in my baby's bag which is actually another bag that i have <laughs> that you're not going to see today well i'll show you the bag because it's super cute and i just bought it on amazon for a great deal but i'm not going to show you the contents inside because if i do it will give away the baby's gender and a lot of you know because i've let it slip a couple times on accident but um generally speaking it is a surprise so i'm not going to show you anything that's in the bag but i will tell you and go off 
my little list of what I'm bringing and a couple things that I didn't bring last time that like are so necessary that I'm definitely bringing this time. So stay tuned for that. This bag, this bag, the baby's bag, and then I have my breast pump um, in a bag also. I'm bringing two different types of breast pumps because I'm crazy, so I'll go through that as well. And then some things that will be going in here last, I have written in this envelope and I have been, I have left it on my husband's bedside table. It says, last minute hospital bag list, Nick open before leaving. He's obviously been setting his glass on this and it has like a ring on it. But this is a list of stuff that's kind of like last minute stuff that like we're currently using such as like a phone charger or a speaker or my tripod stands. So all of that kind of stuff is in here so that um, he can make sure that we have everything checked off that we kind of are going to be grabbing last minute stuff like AirPods and things like that. Let's go through this. Um, this is a hospital bag for a hospital birth um, for a second time mom. So it'll look a little different maybe than some others that you've watched, but let's go ahead and get into it. There are so many influencers out there who have super cute bags and they're all labeled and everything. I would like to have that, but I have better things to spend my money on. So this isn't gonna be as aesthetically pleasing as probably some of the videos that you watched, sorry, but I just used what I had because I didn't feel like spending the money on extra bags. So, all right. If you have packing cubes or linen bags, these are actually for washing clothes, highly recommend. So I have, we'll go through my bag first. Um, I have in here uh, milk catchers. I have no idea when my milk is going to come in, so I wanted to be prepared with this stuff. Last pregnancy, my boobs would leak once my milk came in. If a baby cried, they leaked all through the night. Like I would have letdowns throughout the night, so I just want to be prepared. I also did bring a haka to stick on my other breast while I'm breastfeeding, but most likely I'll end up using one of these. So brought that. Um, I did also bring some nipple shields to help with breastfeeding if um, I'm stuck in the hospital for a few days and my baby ends up um, having oral ties. I brought some dish soap and a sponge in case I need to clean my haka in the room or um, if I need to clean my breast pump. I'm bringing two different breast pumps because I'm crazy. Um, I am bringing the Willow uh, like cordless one and I'm also bringing a, a Lansano one so I've got that over there. These actually need to go in the baby's bag but um, these are some uh, pacifiers and yeah I've got some willow breast pump stuff in here and so that's what's in there and then my breast pump bag is over there on the ground it's like a lansano or something or a medella one of those two um okay I did actually in fact buy these little bags right here I got like a pack of 20 of them I've got a couple protein bars in here for us I have my postpartum um, vitamin by Ritual. I also have this um, stool, like what is it? It's, it's basically supposed to make you take a shit. <laughs> um, it's called Coloss Stool Softener. So I've got that. I've also got Tylenol in here for Nick. I brought a few things for Nick because he hasn't packed anything yet and if I know my husband he's going to be asking me for these things so I'm packing it preemptively. I also packed him some Imodium because he has a very sensitive stomach and whatever we're eating in that hospital I can guarantee you it's going to give him the runs. So I've got that and I'm going to be on the opposite end of the spectrum with that spectrum with that and need all the prunes in the world. I tried to stick with supplements my last um, birth to poop and I had hemorrhoids really bad and I tore to a two, I think a two. And I tried um, like pink stork, um, I tried tea to help me poop. Nothing worked because of the pain meds and everything. It makes you constipated. So I'm going with the tried and true prunes and I also have that other supplement. I will be doing both of these at the same time because I think I didn't poop for two weeks after and it was terrifying, like absolutely terrifying, okay? so. That's that. 
Um, I have an eye mask. I will link you guys to the best eye mask in the world. This is not it. It is in my bedside table because I use it every single night. It blocks everything out and it kind of bubbles out a little bit in case you have eyelash extensions. But I just stuck this in there just in case I forget to swap them out. At least I have something. So eye mask is super important. In hospital rooms, if you haven't given birth in a hospital before or at all, they come in all the time. All of the lights are on, like, as in terms of like, they're low, but they're like on and like the computer screens, there's a lot of light going on and you just need every ounce of sleep you can get because they come in and wake you up every freaking hour, it feels like. So I've got that. Um, I have, I'm going to be bringing my, um, peanut ball or using the one that they have there. I remember it being extremely uncomfortable to have a peanut on my legs while I was in labor without a cover on it because it's like rubber and there was no AC working in the room that I was giving birth in. So I did, um, I made this pillow case for peanut ball and I'm obsessed with gain laundry detergent. So I put a gain dryer sheet in here. Oh, it smells so good. So that it smells like home in my room. I also included a, oh, I also used, um, brought a, uh, this is a king size um, pillowcase. So it's like the extra long ones so that it fits over the whole peanut. Baby has the hiccups right now. Um, and this is also a silk pillowcase. I remember when I gave birth, they always have very rough, shitty linen on the pillows and stuff there. And it just made my hair a disaster. I don't think I brushed my hair the entire time I was there because I had such like a gnarly like if you've watched that video, you know, but I was in no shape to be brushing my hair. So my hair was like all knotted and gross in this pillow. So I thought I'd do myself and my extensions a favor and pack myself a silk pillowcase. I think I'm going to add a pillowcase to one of these for Nick too, because I think he's going to need one. <clears throat> this was given to me by a friend. So you can pick whatever hospital gown or dress you would like. Um, so thanks Faith for giving this to me. Okay. So the reason I really like this one is that it is, so I think one of the ones that I had before was not a dress and you definitely want a dress because they're gonna lift your shit up all the time and be checking your pad to see how you're bleeding and how your flow is. So you want easy access to the coochie coo for them. Also, you really want easy access to breastfeed. Uh, so these pull down and the back also completely opens for like easy, just like ripping it off if you wanna get in the shower. So those are my recommendations for like something to wear. Um, you know, one thing that I don't have in here that I'm going to add that I will make sure is on the list is a robe. Make sure you bring yourself like a robe, probably nothing too heavy or too lightweight, something in the middle because you don't know like what the temp is gonna be in there. But um, typically babies like it pretty warm. So you probably don't want a super heavy robe, but I need to add a robe to this. And I may actually need to purchase one because I think all the robes that I have are like really fuzzy and nice. Cause like every time I'm wearing one, you guys on Instagram are like, yo bitch, like where did you get that robe? Like I need it. So, um, okay. And speaking of comfy things, I think it's a little overboard and overkill that I'm bringing three pairs of socks, but these are non-slip socks that I can wear around the hospital, around the room. They will put these on you if you don't have them. Theirs don't fit well, so I highly recommend grabbing your own. I think I got a pack of like six from Amazon. I'll link everything for you guys in the description box in case you're interested in checking it out. But these have little grippies and I ended up just throwing colors in here because I wanted to match with my PJs. But um, I just, I want options. And I swear Nick is gonna borrow these because he borrowed mine. When I gave birth to Harlow, we were literally sharing non-grip socks. Like he, I was like, here, you can, you can have these today. And he would take them and he would wear them around. So I'm bringing these for him. I'm also gonna bring him um, some slippers. And my slippers are not currently in here because I've been wearing them around the house because my feet freaking hurt. So I'll put them on screen right here. I just got these on Amazon. They're super comfortable. Um, I like these because I don't want my feet to sweat in the hospital. So I like that they're like more of like a sandal situation. So I'm pretty stoked on that because what if I get a room where the AC doesn't work again? Like I'm just gonna be sweating my ass off. So I don't need sweaty toes. So. Uh, socks. Um, I have just purchased these on Amazon too. These are, um, breastfeeding tank tops. 
So, uh, the, and they come in like a pack of like six or something like that. So I just packed two and I like that this comes off like that because j I'm, I'm going to guess that I'm going to be a lot more comfortable in something like this. Um, and I probably will only be wearing this gown like the first day I'll be giving birth in it most likely. So it might get kind of like messy. So I brought two options of this. Um, I got a size medium and I don't think this will fit me for too long after I have the baby, but I think it'll be really good for breastfeeding um, in the hospital and then thereafter. So I got two of those. I packed myself another bag. I probably went a little overboard with this, but I think I packed this before I picked these up. I have um, a few bralettes, um, nipple pads, like, um, like little nursing pads or whatever. I have some nursing bras in here, and I also packed some underwear. For underwear, I packed like really kind of like high-waisted underwear. Last time and uh, last time postpartum, I pretty much didn't ever wear diapers, which I highly recommend just wearing a diaper because if you wear underwear with a big pad, you're just going to be worried about leaking, whether you're at home or at the hospital, both um, just just wear diapers. So I brought underwear just in case I didn't feel like it, but I also brought diapers. So in here, I'll show you what I've got. This is all like stuff for your punani. Um, didn't know about this until way too late. Uh, Dermaplast. This helps with pain, burning, and itching. You just spray this all over your hoo-ha. It feels great. It's cold. You need it. I also brought a little peri bottle. The one that they give you at the hospital is not angled like this. It's just straight and it is a lot harder um, and takes more concentration and leaning over to get it where you want it. Whereas this one, you just put some warm water in there and you squeeze it. Um, I found a pretty cheap one on Amazon that is like the same thing as the Frida one. So I'll link you to that, but um, definitely need a Perry bottle, super important. I also, you can put stuff in here like witch hazel and different things like that to like help soothe your junk. Um, super necessary. Also I had, because like, okay, so when you, after you have a baby, your vagina like burns whenever you pee. So if you just spray this on there, like while you're peeing, it'll help get you to go pee if you need that like little extra push. But, um, it also like relieves a lot of the burning. And if you have hemorrhoids like I did, oh my God, they were so gnarly, dude. This will really help you too. I have giant pads in here in case I decide to go with the underwear. I don't think I'm going to decide to go with underwear. I have some super cute, I mean, I'm really glad that they added that little bow there because these would not be as cute without it, right? These are just diapers, dude. Like, I really wanna try the Arm & Hammer diapers, but these are like always or something. Um, so I packed like a good handful of those thinking I'd need to change it probably like three times a day. So that's that. Here's some more Punani stuff. I feel like the reason I'm saying the word punani. Okay, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Steven Seagal um, has like a reggae album that he put out at some point and he literally like tries to make his voice sound like a reggae singer or like Rastafarian and he says punani in it and like I can't get it out of my head now. I don't know why my husband made me watch that, but I was just like laughing the whole time. In here, looks like I put two of these in here. I was really needing to make sure I had my pussy foam. So this is the Freedom Mom Perennial Healing Foam. I got this as a gift um, at my little baby sprinkle. You can um, put this on your pad or whatever down there and it is supposed to do cooling, pain relief from vag to tush. So yes, um, I got a pack of tucks. I got like a multi-pack of this. I have some in all my bathrooms and I'm gonna bring this one as well. The hospital will give you like, <coughs> I just choked on my own spit. <coughs> the hospital does set you up with some stuff. I just wanted to have my own so that I could just make sure I had everything I needed. So just FYI, they will provide you with some stuff. So check to see what they're gonna give you. 
Um, I got these last year uh, when I gave birth to my daughter and I never used them. I don't know why I should have. These are um, Freedom Mom Instant Ice Maxi Pads. And I was watching someone else's video the other day and she said that she thought that she healed a lot better down there because, um, and she tore as well. She said she thought she healed a lot better down there because she had ice. So these are really simple to use. Um, you can get a whole pack of them and you basically just like crack it and it like, um, and it just uh, like cools it off down there and like it keeps it like a little ice box. Um, and it kind of tells you to do their five step thing obviously because they want to sell you all of these products. But I actually happen to have most of these. So it says cleanse with the Perry bottle, wear disposable postpartum underwear, chill and absorb with this. And then uh, you can do perennial cooling pad liners and then it seems a little overkill and then also the foam. So I've got, I'll, I'll do these two and probably like the tux and this guy and call it a day. I think I only have three of these left. I think I'm gonna probably pack a few more, but all of those things I think are super necessary and I highly recommend the cooling pads. I think I only used one at some point when I got home and I was just like too tired to give a rat's ass about doing it, but now I'm like, I'm gonna do it. So the last thing on this side is a little tiny blow dryer. Doesn't matter what size your blow dryer is, but just bring a blow dryer because they probably don't have one. I'm, I don't know. Let's put all this back. Moving on to this side. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, it's like hard to breathe. Okay, so this is something I started wearing like the day after I gave birth. Now, I watched another person's like 24 hours after they gave birth or whatever, and it's funny because they actually bought the same like belly band or whatever that I bought the first time around. And I highly recommend not buying that one. It is the one that has like three pieces to it. And it has like a high one and a low one and like whatever. You just need one. So I actually got rid of that one and purchased this one. And I really, really like this one. So I will link it for you guys. But um, I also highly recommend wearing this right away. Like keep your insides like intact and help your body out. Um, it's not necessarily to get like a snatched waist right away for me. It was kind of more so like it just felt more comfortable to kind of like compress everything in a little bit because for so long now we've had like this belly, right? And like all of a sudden it's like empty. So it was very comfortable for me and it ended up making my stomach pretty dang flat pretty quick. And I think a lot of that was also breastfeeding, but this one is good. Um, I used it last time and I'm gonna use it again. I actually started freaking out because like when I was like starting to pack my hospital bag, which I did way too late by the way, I would recommend packing your hospital bag around 32 weeks or so. Um, I couldn't find it because like our closets are being installed tomorrow and the next day. So all of our shit is just in the dining room. And I was like, I'm gonna flip out if I can't find this. If you watch my Instagram stories, you probably saw me have a little freak out about something else that I couldn't find. I can't remember what, oh, my breast pump stuff. I couldn't find it. I was like, oh my gosh, where's my breast pump stuff? I like, was walking and stomping around my house like Godzilla because I couldn't find it. I was, I was probably really obnoxious. My husband is so happy he wasn't here that night. <laughs> little something for comfort, a fan. I don't know if I'm going to have no AC again. So I charged this bad boy up and I'm just gonna bring it with me to help me during labor or if I just get too hot, like whatever, um, it's a good thing to have. I have three pairs of pajamas in here. I just put like a little post-it right there that says PJs. And again, this is just like a little wash bag. Um, these are really great for like packing too, obviously. Like it kind of works as, or doubles like as a packing cube kind of. Um, so I brought some different PJs. I made sure that they were just super comfortable PJs and I made sure that they were all buttoned down right here so that I can easily breastfeed if I need to and I'll probably wear a breast uh, feeding cami underneath or like a bra. So I've got some of those. So one thing that I'm not going to bring this time that I brought last time is an oil diffuser. I did not really give a fuck what it smelled like in the room. Um, that was not something I was concerned about, which is surprising for me because I always have wallflowers plugged in. I'm a very big scent person. That's why I put like my gain um, dryer sheets in there. Like I always have like scent in my house, in my car, like dialed out, but like I didn't give a shit about that. So what I did bring though is the roll on oils for like, 
peacefulness and pain and whatever. So I have all of those here and I actually have a couple for baby as well. So I am going to bring those. And this is just like a little pencil pouch um, I bought on Amazon also. And then what I have over here is just, um, this is probably overkill, but I don't know what I'm gonna feel like or what the weather's gonna be, but these are just some going home options and outfits for going home. So keeping it pretty like loose and comfy, and that's kind of, that's kind of it for that. I um, did shorts, um, like my little, I think these are from American Eagle, yeah, or Airy, uh, my little Airy shorts, and then just some like, loose fitting shirts and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be going home in and I'll be bringing my rainbow sandals as well. I gotta put those in here still. So that is it for this bag. Now I wanna show you guys this because this I feel like is a giant game changer. So when you give birth in a hospital, if you've ever been in a hospital, the bathrooms are very small and counter space is super limited. And you guys might think this bag is insane, especially those of you that are like, like minimalists and are like, holy shit, you're overpacking. I thought of everything I need to be comfortable in a normal setting and put it in here and then some. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. Um, I think I'm having a Braxton Hicks right now. Oh. Ah. <sighs> I'll link you to this. I got this on Amazon. The first bag that I bought was a total pile of shit and I returned it. This one is great. It's actually really thick and nice. So in this first pocket, I was like, oh, there's another pocket here. I might as well add more shit to it. So I did. Why did my hatch, my hatch just turned on my husband. We got two hatches for our baby shower with Harlow and he has, I was like gonna return one cause we don't need two surely. And he set it up in our room and it's on a schedule now. So I guess it's that time. So you're gonna hear some rainfall in the background now. I brought some of my belly oil. This is the Earth Mama Belly Oil. I've been using this entire pregnancy. I bought like a pack of like four of them or something like that on Amazon. So I brought, I'm gonna bring this because I will be putting this on my belly uh, still right after I give birth. And then I also brought an Element Mom Mega Moisturizing Belly Mask. Um, as your stomach like shrinks back down, like just cause baby is out, you still need to like keep it moisturized and take care of it. So that's why I have those. And if I feel like looking cute, I brought some cute little like holographic like star like under eye patches. Cause being in a hospital, depending on like what they're pumping into, you can get kind of puffy. So I thought I would take care of my skin. The, the, the truth is I probably won't even touch these, but they're there should I feel like it, you know? That's what matters. The reason why, you're probably like, okay, why was she talking about no counter space and then showing me this random bag? So this bag actually folds out like so, and this is super key for a hospital birth because you can hook this on something in the bathroom, whether it's the door handle or the door, or the shower, um, and you have just way, you've just bought yourself way more counter space. And it's so easy to get to everything. All your toiletries aren't in one giant bag, like one big fucking Mary Poppins bag that you can't find anything in. This is all very organized. So um, I will go handheld for a second and just show you everything that I have in here to give you some ideas of what to pack. Um, I did think about this very thoughtfully. So all of these things will also be on the list that I have made for you guys, but let's go through it. All right, starting from the top, earplugs. I sleep every single night with earplugs because my husband snores. Um, it's also extremely loud in hospitals. So with the beeping and all the annoying shit going on, you're probably gonna want some earplugs. I brought a nail file. It's, there's nothing more annoying than having like a snag in your nail and just catching on everything. So I brought a nail file. In here I have deodorant, face wash, Q-tips, hand sanitizer, makeup wipes. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna have makeup on, but um, I've got more iPads in here. I didn't realize that, dark circle pads. Um, uh, skin barrier cream, moisturizer basically, um, and a little cloth to wash my face. 
I also have some chapstick in here. You're gonna need that for sure. And this is some dark focus, dark circle cream. And that. Down here, I've got hair stuff. I probably brought way more hair stuff than I'm ever even going to use, but at least I have it. I brought a little hand mirror so that I can put makeup on or do my hair from bed without having to get up and stand. I brought some little headbands. I brought body wash, shampoo, lotion, and there's a little brush in here too, and I've got some like scrunchies. Down in this compartment, I've got um, a toothbrush. I have flossers, I have toothpaste and a razor. I can't imagine I'm gonna be using this razor, but it's very small and lightweight, and if I feel like I want to shave my armpits, then at least I have that. I really hate when my armpits are hairy. So that is what I have in here. If I miss anything, let me know so I can add it, but this bag is like super key. I highly, highly recommend bringing yourself a bag like this. And if you want to double it up and put your makeup in one too, not a bad idea. Harlow is past the F out. Yes. Okay, we're getting close to the end, guys. Don't worry. It's almost over. So I brought pacifiers. I was not going to do pacifiers with Harlow the first time around, or the first time around having a baby because I was just like, oh, I don't want there to be nipple confusion, whatever. Um, I just don't really believe in that anymore. And I just feel like whatever it takes to get your baby to soothe and like be able to sleep, you should have it as an option. Um, if you're a first time mom, you're gonna see there's gonna be so many, <laughs> there's gonna be so many things that you're like, oh no, 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 I'm not gonna do that, that's not for us. And then you might change your mind. Um, most likely you're going to change your mind. I did with so many things. So just maybe keep an open mind and bring things just in case you change your mind, you have it. Um, but this time I will be trying to like put my baby on the nipple a lot more to help with like the breastfeeding journey and all of that. Um, because your baby is going to help regulate your milk supply and tell your body, okay, I need milk. So just, yeah. Um, I've got a cute little thing, a little, it says, hello world. I'm here. This was actually for Harlow and I never ended up using it because I was just like, get me the fuck out of here. So I didn't like I never put makeup on, I didn't brush my hair, I didn't do any of the cute outfits in the hospital. Like, I'm hoping to do those things this time around. Um, hopefully I won't be too tired. So look at me, how organized I am. I also brought a Sharpie. Um, now I'm not gonna show you the inside of this bag because uh, <laughs> it's gonna give away the gender. Like I said, this bag is super cool though. Um, I'm not sure how this is supposed to be a hospital bag though. Like all of my stuff would never fit in here. But if you are a light packer, maybe. Um, it's got the little side pocket over here and then a front um, pocket and then the back uh, piece actually can sit over luggage, like the handle of a luggage, which is really cool. And then the side I thought was pretty cool. I'll probably put my shoes in here. It's like a little shoe compartment with like um, some vents so it doesn't get stanky up in here but you can stick your shoes in there. I thought that was a really great idea. Like if you have like different going home shoes, you want your slippers in there, whatever. So let me pull out my little list and tell you, actually, I can just look in here and tell you what's inside. I just won't pull it out. So, oh, it also comes with this cute little bag. Um, so in here I have diapers. Now, um, the hospital will provide you with diapers and wipes, but I just brought my own because I had them anyways. Uh, so yeah, I put diapers in here and I don't think I put any wipes in here. I think I was planning on just using the hospital's wipes. So I have in here a few different like outfits to take like a photo in. I have some in various sizes. I highly recommend bringing a, um, newborn outfit and then also a zero to three month outfit. Most of the things that I purchased for my daughter did not fit. My daughter was nine pounds, 10 ounces when she was born and <laughs> she didn't fit in like anything I brought for her like cute like photo outfit. So bring a few different of those. Uh, and then just some plain white onesies, which I bought these ones on Amazon. They're really easy to bleach. So I just, yeah, you need tons of these with a new baby. They spit up like crazy and stuff. I brought a really um, cute little blanket that has like microorganisms and whatever from our house. Like it has like our own scent and like our cat fur on it. Like it's not like a stanky, dirty ass blanket, but um, midwives with my last pregnancy told me to bring 
things to the birth that like have been sitting on our bed for a little bit, have cat hair on it, whatever, so that your baby can start like getting used to those things, touching their skin, um, like whatever detergent you use, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, and there's something that I'm gonna tell you that I put in here that I did not even think about bringing last time and I think it's so important. So, um, whether you're giving birth at a hospital or a birth center or whatever, bring a swaddle with you, one that is easy. I will link you some of my favorite ones below. I've tried every single freaking swaddle under the sun and there's nothing that swaddles better than like one that just really wraps your baby up because if you think about it, they just came out of the womb. And so with my daughter, we were in the hospital and we're like, why isn't she sleeping? Why isn't she sleeping? I'm, I obviously was hot as fuck in there. So there's that. But I wasn't swaddling her in a blanket well because it's not super easy to get them super tight. And the baby in your stomach is like so squished in there right now and like so like confined and restricted and they love that. So when they come out, they're in this like, new loud world of all these sounds and people and like they're seeing you for the first time and like they just want to feel like they're in your womb again so the best way to do that in my opinion is to bring a swaddle and like swaddle that fucker up and get them to feel like they are like in your womb again and they want their arms kind of pinned down so there are some favorites that i have i'll link you below one of them is the ollie swaddle i absolutely love that swaddle Yes, it does have Velcro. I don't have anything against Velcro and swaddles. Some people will be like, oh, it wakes the baby up, but it didn't like have that effect on Harlow. So I will be using them again, but any swaddle that you have that is like the right size, um, highly recommend because swaddling with a blanket, it's just not the same. And it's typically like a non-stretchy blanket. So a swaddle is like perfect. Um, I don't know why it's not in here right now, but I did actually um, have on my list to put on, put in here and I just purchased um, uh, gloves so that the baby cannot scratch their face. So I highly recommend those. I didn't really use them much with Harlow because she didn't really do that a whole lot, but every baby's totally different. So just be prepared for that. You also might want to bring a little like sheet, whether you get your baby's name on it or whatever for like the little hospital bed or like bassinet that they'll be in. Um, the hospital doesn't have anything cute or fancy. So <laughs> yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, and really you don't need a whole lot for your baby other than like your boobs and you know, some blankets and like an outfit, um, possibly some socks and a little hat. Uh, if I forgot anything, I will, put it on the screen, but also make sure that you, I feel like this goes without saying, but like kind of when you're in it, you forget things. Make sure you have your car seat ready to go in your car because they will come out from the hospital and check your car and talk to you like you are an idiot. And they will check to make sure you strap them in properly. It's like a pop quiz of the DMV, like when you're getting your driver's license, like that's how, that's how it's gonna be. So make sure you have that all good to go with all of the like, newborn um things or whatever to like keep their head you know to keep them in there properly for their size um i'm trying to think about from forgetting anything else um other than pacifiers um they have burp cloths for you there so you can just use theirs um if i think of anything that i'm forgetting i will put it on the screen and i also put it on my sheet so don't worry but that is that and Last but not least, let's talk about what I'm gonna bring last minute, because this might be some things that you wanna bring as well. <clears throat> a speaker. I have my playlist for um, delivery. So we're gonna bring a speaker. It's charging right now. Uh, vlog camera, that's you. Um, my cards, uh, like memory cards, the charger and the stand. Um, plus a cell phone holder for the stand. I'm also gonna bring a smaller tripod that like can like, it's like one of those gorilla type that can like attach to things. Um, 
I'm gonna bring that as well so that I can take uh, photos with my phone. If you're curious how to do that, I will link you below, but there's just like a little like remote thing that connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you can set it on a timer and press it and like hide it and like take pictures with your spouse or whoever is in the room with you or maybe it's just you and your baby, like whatever you wanna do. If you wanna document um, the experience or whatever you feel like, you'll have it. Very cheap on Amazon, it's like six bucks. Um, I put slip on slippers on here cause I knew I'd be wearing them around the house until I left. I put water bottle. Um, I could just put it in here, but I haven't. So, um, let's see car seat with newborn inserts, my laptop and my charger, my AirPods. I don't actually have AirPods. I have like these like knockoff, like cheap ones from Amazon that still work and work really well. Those are actually in the car cause I've been taking them to the gym when I go to the gym and they're always charging. So, um, and then very important, I've got on here tequila. Uh, I definitely will be taking a celebratory shot of tequila once I push this baby out. Um, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Uh, so yeah, tequila, super important. Um, bathroom bag I put on here because I've been keeping it in my bathroom as I've been adding to it over the past week. So I've like been hanging that up over my shower and just like as I think of something, I'll put it in there. So I put not to forget it. And I also put the peanut ball in here. I'm pretty sure every hospital provides you with a peanut ball. So if you forget it or you don't have one, um, they should have it for you. They should also have an exercise ball and um, a squat bar for you as well. So that is what we have here. And um, like I said, if I have anything to add to this, I will put it on the sheet or on the screen or whatever, just so that you know. But, um, and then in addition, like I said, I have my bag over there on the floor with my breast pump. And I also have some storage bags for milk on there. Uh, they should freeze your milk for you or store it for you. Um, I'm not really planning on like pumping that early. The only reason I'm bringing my pump is so that I can like kickstart my milk supply real quick and like stick my breast pump on there. But hopefully I don't need that. Hopefully the baby just kind of does their thing and it all comes in normal. Uh, but <coughs> enough on that. I have a breastfeeding video that's gonna be out probably after this one. So depending on when you watch this, I'll link it. But that is everything that I have for my hospital bag. If you guys have any suggestions or anything that I forgot, which is totally possible, then please leave it in the comments below. Or if it's something that you like think that like, every woman needs to have in their hospital bag leave it down below and i'm sure that'll help some people out if not just me <laughs> and i'll add it to my hospital bag but thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video i'm super excited for you to meet baby and i'm very excited to meet the baby as well so yeah we'll see you later bye guys <laughs>